All right, welcome back to the channel where we're in a different spot. We're in a different spot. This is a spot that I spend a lot of time. Yeah, it's not, not a brand Not in a weird way, but and I just spend Aww, a lot of time. It's a weird way. It's a weird way. It's a WW. My uh, name is Dean Lamb. This is my YouTube channel. This oh. is not your YouTube channel. It's mine. What, I'm talking too much? No, no, no. no I'm not allowed to talk. No, 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 you're not to talk. This is my area. Like, okay. Let's just get one thing straight. This is my area. This is your station. Yeah. I Don't mean, come in here. I mean, your station. You're the captain of the station. I'm, a, yeah, exactly. I am. The XO? I'm number one. Okay. Yeah, you're number one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm your number one right now. So, All right. Okay. you know, you gotta treat me with a little respect. I don't. No. I'm your number one in this fucking station. Yeah, more like number two. More like I took a number two. Well, what are we gonna do? Why don't you tell it? So I'm gonna be teaching this man over here four old school death metal riffs. In fact, they're all DSI riffs because sure. I love that band. And I would say old school death metal is an endurance kind of genre. It requires a lot of stamina, girthy picking arm, because it's like pretty much only ever down picking or tremolo. And you think I'm not gonna be able to do it very well. No, no, no. I think the first three will be a breeze. The fourth one is really fucking hard. Well, I want to know how you'll do. And you talk all the time about how you don't down pick anything. That I have a couple of that I down pick. That's a weakness for you. So it is. we're really fucking putting that weakness on display today. That's true. In my area, and you're the first mate, I trip through the dangerous waters of old school death metal. Yeah. I guess. Dangerous waters of deicide. Sure. That's true. Manscaped sponsored this episode and they always send me just like wacky ad reads. So I'm just gonna read that real quick and then we'll get right back to the video. Crotch discomfort hurting your game? Fear no more, the kings of crotch comfort Manscaped have spent two years designing the most comfortable boxer briefs out there. Sleek, soft, comfortable, and flexible. The brand new boxers 2.0 from Manscaped take your balls to the royal ball throne. Never heard of that, but uh, but that's what it says here on this text file. The global leaders in below the waist grooming have the Lawnmower 4.0 for the trimming, so you can wear the Boxers 2.0 for the chillin', whatever that means. They even trademark the jewel pouch, so you know it's serious. I think it's time you invest in your family jewels. So let your bulge breathe and get 20% off plus free shipping by using code word BALL20 at checkout and manscaped.com. I do enjoy Manscaped's products. They've sent me all sorts of cool leather bags with like ball deodorant. Uh, this is the most I've said ball in any of these videos. <laughs> but anyway, the, the stuff that they've sent us is just awesome. I, I enjoy the trimmer. I enjoy the boxers. I enjoy all of the little knickknacks and the nose hair trimmer and all that kind of stuff. And what's great is if you pick up something at manscaped.com using ball 20, you get free shipping plus 20% off. Plus you support the hell out of this channel, which is uh, maybe something that you would love to do. And, and we over here just love your support. Oh my goodness, so much. So uh, if you enjoy what we see, and you have a body that you need to put boxers on, maybe you have legs, uh, waist, you have skin, uh, you have hair, consider going to manscaped.com using code word BALL20 for free shipping plus 20% off. And yeah, thank you so much, and back to the video. The song is called, uh, okay, uh, Oblivious to Evil. Oblivious to Evil. And what does that mean? I don't know, you don't know evil is happening? Uh, are you oblivious to evil? I don't really think so. Okay. <laughs> So I got my fucking... Wow, no follow-up with that. Just say you're not oblivious to evil. Are you oblivious to evil? <laughs> to be oblivious to evil is like... You don't to understand all evil? evil. I think you... To will... some evil? Fuck. Let's remain oblivious to evil yeah. because uh, it could take the video into a dark... Uh, evil area. Dark turn. Fuck! So I'm using my DSI pick as a Glenn Benton pick that I caught at a DSI show. So I'm using this even though I usually prefer a smaller pick. Mm -hmm. Today I'm using this. I'm also playing a big pick. I'm actually playing a bigger pick than that. Oh, shit. Or maybe, or maybe it's about the same oh. size. Why wow, he won't let me touch it for some reason. Oh, your picks don't fucking shoot up. Dude. Because Glenn Benton fucking played this live the whole set. Okay, so you wanna try the first one? Okay. And you like this song? I love this one. Am I gonna like this song? I don't know, you've probably heard it. The old DSI is in E flat, so we actually tuned our guitars for once. Also, a bunch of these riffs would be made easier if you just played in drop tuning, but if you want to do true old school death metal, you gotta play it in standard. E flat. E flat standard. standard. Yeah, not yeah. standard. No, it's standard, it's not drop. E flat. Yeah. Standard, okay. The, yeah, the number level one is the opening riff of Oblivious to Evil. So I'm just gonna fucking start with the song. <laughs> That's it. That's the riff. That's level one. Oh, okay. Power we're, chords. We're starting. 
It's it's harder than you think, right? Oh, okay. Fuck off. <laughs> You're moving fingers you don't you, need to. Oh, that's true. Oh, fucking, I'm making this, I'm killing this video already. Yeah, see how you can fucking last the whole thing. That's the trick. You know, what's funny is you can feel the tempo go down in the recording. Oh, yeah. It starts faster yeah. and it's dun 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 Because I get tired, I get tired. Uh, Level one was easy, dude. I told you. That's an easy I one. I yeah, I told you, I was starting easy. easy. That's fun, easy. I like it. Actually, it's funny because you just immediately made it easier for me. It's easier for you now, Because right? I was, I was doing that, and so every time I would start fumbling, you know. So yeah, that, I keep that middle finger there, like this. Immediately made it easier. Which also looks funny. Because it's like a spidery kind of thing. The right hand stuff was easy. It's a slow enough tempo where it's like dun 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 dun. Yeah, that. but it is it is long. It's twenty seconds. Mm -hmm. It's twenty seconds. I didn't feel a burn at all. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was easy. So you always do this. Level one. Yeah. Is supposed to be easy, and then you're Give like, me a harder and then you're like, it's easy. Okay, we're going to level two. It's not hard. All right, level two is the next rip. Level two is the very next rip. Yeah, man. That riff is uh, is really cool. I love that riff. It's so much fun. Yeah, that one burns a little bit more. Yeah, and it doesn't it doesn't stop. It doesn't it never stops. It's fucking 242 and you're down picking that whole time. Okay. Like this is what I'm saying. DSI, you only ever down pick or tremolo. Oh your arm cracked. Yeah, like, it's, it's like, in your shoulder. It's a little tricky. It's but, not uh, not my yeah. forte. But you have a, a very little brief forte. respite yeah. with the tiny little pick bit. You get the tiny little pick bit does give you a bit of respite. Not too bad, but yeah, endurance wise, if I had to play the whole song. Oof. If you had to play the whole song, man, or a whole set. Luckily, I don't. Yeah. yeah, well, fucking, you know, do side. I know you go through some guitarists, you know, if you need somebody else for a tour. You would want to join do side. Do you think you're up to it? I would fucking work out so hard mm -hmm. if I got an offer to do a Deicide tour. Because you got you got to be jacked. Like you, Keep in mind, they already have guitarists. Yeah, but yeah, it's right, just right, like, okay. you know, sometimes, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a revolving they door. They have like a newer guy, don't they? Exactly. Oh, let's That's kill him. That's what I'm saying. You know, if he can't keep up, you know. What? <laughs> I'm here. Okay, level three. We're going to Bible Basher. Which is, I find this a very offensive title because I'm such a, I'm a man of God. Yeah, well, you take that Bible and stick it so far up your ass that it becomes a thing of the past. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. Okay, so for level three, I probably should have chosen the riff immediately preceding the one I chose because it's, it's very challenging for okay, endurance, okay. but the one I chose is just like so fun. It's, oh, one, it's okay. one of my favorite DSI riffs to play. Immediately before this riff are playing exclusively like fast eighth note down picking mm -hmm. power chords, and then you go immediately into this one. So immediately. again, immediately. Okay. Okay. It's it's a tremolo riff, down picking riff, down picking riff, tremolo riff, down picking riff, down picking riff. And that's the whole thing, and you repeat each riff six times, <laughs> and it's a six 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 fucking album. Yeah, six six six, dude. All the riffs are six times. This is the one we're doing. Fucking love this riff. <laughs> Sweet. It's so much fun. I fucking love this riff. Yeah. Play for me? A little bit easier to play when you're picking all the notes rather than doing that slide. Oh, right. Well, you can't make it easier. You gotta do it correct. Okay. Uh, it's it's cool. It's not too bad. 
The down picking yeah. on this song, not too bad. That riff itself, I could play that probably for a while. Level four, They Are the Children of the Underworld, which is a song I have covered on my YouTube. And back to what I was saying earlier, how if you wanna do true old school death metal, you gotta play in standard tuning. I had to play this song in drop because this riff, too much this riff is kind of so hard for me at the speed oh, okay. that it is. So I had to play it in drop. So I will oh, probably okay. butcher it even now. Even now yeah. you say? So Still what is the riff? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, zero, one, three, zero, and then down at uh, one, zero. Uh, no, I, I'm just saying that's the melody, right? Yeah. Okay, what's the riff after that? And then you, you gotta do the riff after. It's the previous riff, but you just don't do the gallops anymore. Oh! It, the, the second version is so long. Yeah, that's And then, up. fucking gallops. Your gallops. Not great. That yeah, sounds sick. What do you mean not great? It sounds great. But the whole song, man. Oh, fuck. How many times have you dropped your picking for you? Easier that time. My my right hand's warmed up. Oh really? You yeah. did. Yeah, you did good. I, I felt like I did okay. I didn't know you were going to play it that time. I thought you were listening for the whole yeah. thing, and then you started. So it's I, hard. Yeah. It is hard. Yeah. Fucking, I could barely get through it. It's hard. And I fucked it up a lot. I also fucked up. I went to the wrong riff at the wrong time. I had to watch you for like the cues and figure out. Oh. Go. The endurance is uh, something to yeah. If playing a yeah. whole set of this stuff, you would have to. It would probably take months. Yeah, it is. I think either one of us could do it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like, I I used to play Deicide for like three hours on mm -hmm. stream, which yeah. is, I mean, a huge part of why I got an injury. Yeah, don't do that. I don't have the body of somebody that can play Deicide for three hours. Why are you looking at the band members' bodies? <laughs> uh, well, thanks for watching. So what did you learn? Uh, I don't know. These riffs are pretty cool. I think it might be a cool thing for me to um, to try these riffs in hopes that I can take some of the grooviness out of them and write some new stuff. Mm. Yeah, because like a That's lot cool. of the times when I write riffs, it's like very melodic and I want to get away from that. Yeah. So I'd love to get more like groove. dumb guy kind of riffs. Dumb guy groove. Yeah, because like these riffs are all pretty simple. So do you think uh, maybe you like Deicide more now? I, I don't dislike Deicide yeah. at all. It's just not a band that I throw on, yeah. but I might throw them on now. Throw them on, dude. Right. Uh, okay, goodbye. Bye. Yeah, bye.